The darkness will soon be a history because we will soon enter the realm of light where we shall dwell forever. Sickness will soon be forgotten because we are about entering a place where sickness cannot dwell, neither have influence or power over the people. The word poverty will soon go into extinction because everyone will soon leave above it so much that no one will ever think there is such a thing or word known as poverty. A time is coming when all struggles will pass away and we shall live in peace and joy forever. At that time, death shall be no more. There shall be no failure, no disappointment again. Although in life, we often face situations that make us feel overwhelmed, exhausted and ready to give up. The journey may seem tough and it's natural to feel disheartened. However, let me tell you today with complete certainty that help is on the way. The Bible assures us that even in the darkest times, our rescue is imminent. Throughout history, countless individuals have faced seemingly insurmountable challenges. Noah faced ridicule and disbelief while building the ark, but help arrived when the floodwaters carried him and his family to safety. Joseph was sold into slavery and unjustly imprisoned, yet God lifted him up and made him second in command of Egypt. The Israelites endured oppression in Egypt for centuries, but God sent Moses to lead them out of bondage into a promised land. These biblical stories remind us that just when we think there's no way out, God's intervention becomes evident. The pages of the Bible are filled with stories of hope, restoration, and triumph over adversity. These stories teach us that giving up is never an option, for the darkest hour is often just before dawn. We must always remember that God's timing is perfect. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This means that in all circumstances, we should trust in God and also wait on Him. Because as long as we wait and hope in Him, He will come to our aid. And the product of that is that we shall mount up from where we have been. When we place our trust in God and keep our hope alive, our strength is renewed. He will equip us with the endurance and resilience needed to overcome the challenges we face. It's important to acknowledge that help doesn't always come in the way we expect. God's methods may not align with our plans, but He is always working behind the scenes for our good. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 reminds us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. The key point here is that we should still submit to God. Despite all that happens, we should give it all to God. Let's trust Him for deliverance. And we must acknowledge the fact that we must not trust in our strength nor wisdom to escape out of what is going on around us. Rather, we must wait and trust in God for help. Because if we do, we are reassured that He will come to aid and make our path straight. Even when we can't fathom a way forward, God will illuminate the path and guide us toward the light. In times of despair, it's crucial to surround ourselves with a supportive community. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 states, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up together. We can encourage and uplift one another, reminding each other that help is indeed on the way, and encouraging ourselves with the stories from the Bible about how God intervened and helped those in difficulties and brought them out. Through prayer, we can find solace and strength to endure our trials, knowing that we are never alone. And we must remember that in such a time, we must choose our friends carefully because when we have friends that are not godly, then we endanger our lives. For evil communication corrupts good manners. So dear friend, I implore you, don't give up. Your breakthrough is closer than you think. Keep your faith alive. Hold on to hope and trust that help is already on its way. God's promises are unwavering and He will fulfill His plans for your life. Your current struggles are merely stepping stones to a brighter future.
Just as many others before you found victory, you too shall overcome. Remember the words of Romans chapter 8 verse 28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. When we trust in God's goodness and embrace his plan for our lives, every trial and tribulation becomes an opportunity for growth and transformation. Hold on to your faith, persevere in your journey, and know that help is on the way. God have a purpose for your life, and he will carry you through every storm. Stay strong for your breakthrough is just around the corner. As I conclude, permit me to repeat this again. The darkness will soon be a history because we will soon enter the realm of light where we shall dwell forever. Sickness will soon be forgotten because we are about entering a place where sickness cannot dwell, neither have influence or power over people. The word poverty will soon go into extinction because everyone will soon leave above it, so much that no one will ever think there is such a thing or word known as poverty. A time is coming when all struggles will pass away and we shall live in peace and joy forever. Let this be your motivation. No matter what happens here, God will certainly come to our aid. And if it persists, then don't give up on hope. There is an eternal place of abode where all this evil cannot stay. Be encouraged by this and stay strong. Bow your hearts as we pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your mighty throne, seeking your guidance and your unfailing grace. Today we lift up our voices in prayer for the precious souls that make up our beloved audience. We ask that you increase their faith and expand their vision, enlightening their spirits with your divine wisdom. In a world filled with challenges and uncertainties, we implore you to instill in them an unwavering belief in your infinite power. Empower them to rise above any obstacles, standing firm in their convictions even during the darkest times. Grant them the strength to endure, the resilience to persevere, and the courage to keep moving forward. Remind them, dear God, that your love and mercy are forever present. As they encounter trials and tribulations, help them remember that your help is on the way. Open their hearts to receive your grace granting them the confidence to face whatever lies ahead. Guide their steps along the path towards fulfillment, knowing that your divine intervention is imminent. Lord, we seek your divine protection, knowing that a shield of faith and vision will guard their minds against doubt and fear. Strengthen their spirits, fortify their resolve, and shield them from the temptations that seek to derail them from your purpose. May they remain steadfast, anchored in your promises, knowing that nothing is impossible with you by their side. Dear Father, we ask for clarity of purpose, that they may gain a deeper understanding of the dreams you have planted within them. Illuminate their minds, granting them the foresight to see beyond their current circumstances. Enable them to envision a future filled with limitless possibilities, where miracles manifest and destinies are fulfilled. In your boundless love, we pray for an outpouring of blessings upon our audience. May they experience divine provision, favor, and breakthroughs in every area of their lives. Surround them with a community of support and encouragement, guiding them in times of confusion and strengthening them in times of weakness. Lord, we trust in your unwavering faithfulness. With hearts full of gratitude, we thank you for the incredible promises you have spoken over the lives of our cherished audience. We declare victory and resounding triumph over the challenges they face, knowing that you have already prepared a way for them. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I would like you to comment. I am unshakable through Christ Jesus, my Lord and do like, share, and subscribe for more. God bless you.